it's Madison Jessiato coming to you once again with the good news. Now I have to lead off today with one of my favorite videos of the week. As many of you know, I love my dogs, Rocky and Phoenix. Many of you out there have dogs, puppies, pets that you love as well. So I'm sure this video is gonna warm your heart as much as it did mine. This New Jersey family has been reunited with their puppy, Mamba. The family was hit really hard by COVID-19 a few months back, and they were forced to give Mamba up to a shelter. The shelter knew they didn't want to do this, so the shelter took it upon themselves to board Mamba until the family recovered. As you can see here, the family was so excited, uh, and Mamba was just as excited to see his dad as they were to see him. So a wonderful story of reunification. Uh, when we talk about positive stories and communities coming together, take a look at this. Retired firefighter Hal Simmons, he was 71 years old, fought against COVID-19, was ultimately released from the hospital to be welcomed home with this beautiful parade. It was organized by fellow retired firefighter John Salvinelli, uh, and it was filled with different police and fire vehicles. It brought tears to Mr. Simmons' eyes as well as so many others when we see uh, these great stories of people coming together to support their neighbors and friends uh, in the fight against COVID-19. Uh, but this isn't the only good news we're seeing. Within the coming weeks, we're expected to see interim results released in what's been dubbed a solidarity trial. 5,500 patients in 39 countries were recruited. Now, this isn't a vaccine trial. They were studying potential coronavirus treatment, drugs, obviously still great news as we continue to fight against COVID-19. Some of these uh, you know, may be useful in the coming months as we continue to wait for a vaccine. Uh, and another one of my favorite stories that I wanted to share with you guys um, comes when it, we look at statistics and we look at that mortality rate. Right here in my home state of Ohio, we're continuing to see the mortality rate drop for so many people who have lost loved ones and, uh, you know, have really seen firsthand the devastating effects that coronavirus can have. I think this is wonderful news as we expand testing, we learn more about the novel coronavirus and its potential effects, uh, you know, on, on us uh, here in the United States. And so we'll continue to take a look at these stats and, and all these wonderful stories of positivity and hope coming out of communities. As always, be sure to share your stories with us so we can share them with everyone else. And we'll be back soon with the good news.